Hey, what's happening, everybody? It's me, Crazy Frankie, and I'd like to welcome you to my week six four key game picks. Before we talk about week number six, don't want to get into too much in week number five. Obviously, coming out of week five, the big story coming out of that week was the uh, for the Dallas Cowboys basically getting destroyed by the 49ers. And I think what was more shocking was a little bit of a surprise, really. I'm not going to say shocking, but it was a little bit surprising to the fact that the 49ers just literally beat the crap out of the out of the Cowboys. I kind of thought it was going to be a close game. A lot of us thought it was going to be a very close game. I mean, I did pick the Niners to win last week, and pretty much a lot of people did, and we all thought it was going to be in a close game, but it turned out the game wasn't even close on Sunday. You got to wonder, <clears throat> with this Cowboy team, are they nothing but pretenders, or is there something um, basically, they're kind of getting a little bit more prepped up for somewhere for the basically down the line towards the end of the season. Currently, right now, they're not. I don't really see them as a NFC East champion because the way the Eagles have been playing, I, the Eagles haven't been playing their best football yet, and they still haven't played the Cowboys just yet. <clears throat> but to me, it boils down to that first meeting between these two te- between the Eagles and the Cowboys that I think pretty much will decide the NFC East right there. And given the current schedules for both these two teams, that matchup won't be for a while. It's going to be coming up pretty soon. So I think to me, if you're going to talk about Cowboys and Eagles, who's the best in the NFC East, it's going to come down to that first meeting, you know, to be honest here. <clears throat> and look at what's happened to other teams in the NFL. The Lions are keeping on rolling. You got, I would say to anybody who's a Detroit Lions fan, this is kind of a good time to be a fan right now, given the fact of what Dan Campbell has done with that football team, the way Jared Goff is playing, the way that defense has played. Now, you could say they're playing mediocre teams. They haven't made up with the tougher teams just yet, and that is true. They, I mean, one of their toughest tests coming up is definitely the Buccaneers, which have been a, quite of a surprise. And that is going to be one of the key games I will talk about in a few minutes. When I look at some other <clears throat> teams that are in the NFL, the Jaguars kind of making their own statement after they beat the Bills in London. Pardon me. <clears throat> um, I look at it, I mean, I, you could say it was kind of an unfair advantage for the um, Jacksonville Jaguars because they, they're used to playing in London. Unlike the Bills, I think that the Bills made a huge mistake getting in late into London, and that really did not help them at all. I really thought that they would have been at least more prepared because I don't know what we're going to get out of this Buffalo Bills team. I mean, one week they dominated the one week they dominated the Dolphins, and now they lose to Jacksonville. So it's tough to say what's going on with this football team. Are they good or are they not? You got to wonder in the AFC. When you look at some AFC teams right now that are making their statements, look, Kansas City's still rolling right now. They're still considered the top dog in the conference until somebody knocks them off. <coughs> you could also say that <clears throat> that the Dolphins are making their own statement. So it's really tough to say in the AFC, but I still think the Chiefs until somebody knocks them out of the until somebody else knocks them out, <clears throat> the Chiefs are still the team to beat in the AFC. Anyways, my friends, I'm going to try to keep this video short. I'm kind of not feeling well. <clears throat> As you can tell, I've had to clear my throat a couple times in this video, and I don't want to do this anymore. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to go straight into my picks because I want to try to get this video as short as possible. All right, let's talk about week number six. Now, let's talk about the first key game going into week number six. Now, these matchups here, just like in week five, might be pretty predictable. So here are the picks for week number six. <clears throat> first key game. It is the Dallas Cowboys versus the Charge versus the Chargers. For some reason, Dallas is actually a two-point favorite. And the reason why I'm saying that, surprisingly, two points, I think that number should be bigger. I mean, anybody who knows me on a personal level, you know that I so I do cheer for the Chargers, but I gotta be truthful and not that biased in this thing. The charge, uh, the Cowboys should be a much bigger favorite in this game, given the fact that the Chargers' defense barely came alive in the last two weeks. To 
against Minnesota and against the Vegas Raiders. I don't know what we're getting out of this football team and the way that Coach Stanley coaches. I mean, you look at the stats from Herbert in week number four. He was 13 of 24, 167 yards, one touchdown, and one interception. Those were week four stats. Chargers were on a bye last week. And looking at Dak Prescott's stats against the 49ers last week, 14 of 24, 153 yards, one touchdown, but three interceptions, given the fact that the 49ers had a much better defense than the Cowboys did. <clears throat> this is going to be a, this is too much of a task for the Chargers to, I mean, look, Cowboys defensively between these two, between this, in this matchup really is, they do have the better defense than the Chargers do. I think it boils down to who makes the good plays on offense, in my honest opinion here. Obviously, the Chargers desperately need to get the running game going here. Obviously, they're very shorthanded now, given the fact no Mike Williams for the, for the season. And given the fact they suffered some other injuries in that Raider game. You got to wonder who's going to step up for this Charger offense. Keenan Allen so far has been the only guy, in, and other than other than Keenan Allen, Palmer has been a good, <clears throat> good for them. It boils down between if Prescott or Herbert, who makes the better plays in this one here. It's it's going to be a tough task for that Chargers to really break through that Dallas defense because their defense is a little better than the Chargers. I hate to go against the Chargers here, but I have to because I cannot be biased or anything in this sort of game. I'm picking the Dallas Cowboys here. I just think that the Cowboys... <clears throat> I mean, I, the only reason why I'm talking about this game because it is a key game for the Chargers to try to keep pace in the AFC West. But you're asking too much when you have to face the Cowboys here. The Cowboys are a little bit more of a better team than they are. And I'm picking the Cowboys in this one here. I think the Cowboys offense will... Get back on track. That Charger defense is not as good as I thought it was. So, yeah. Pick the Cowboys minus two in this one here. The Cowboys over the Chargers. <clears throat> Key game number two. Going into the AFC South. The Indianapolis Colts versus the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Jaguars are a four-point favorite. And, it w and I would think that's about right. Given the fact that last week Richardson got hurt. So, <clears throat> Gardner Mishu had to come in for the rest of that football game last week against Tennessee. Now, Minshew was 11 of 14, 150 yard, 55 yards, no touchdowns, and no interception. Luckily, the Colts actually won that game. Trevor Lawrence in a much improved performance than he had against the Falcons. He was 25 of 37, 315 yards, and one touchdown. This is really a battle for first place right here. Both teams are 3-2, and two, and this basically who, who will have first crack at control of the division. Given that Jacksonville's offense has really came come alive in the last few games, you're asking a lot of, of the Colts' defense to stop. And given the fact that Ridley has finally get into a better groove for for the um <clears throat> for the Jaguars, the way that Trevor Lawrence has thrown it to him, they had to get some sort of passing game going, and they actually did a decent job against the Bills last week. You're asking a lot of Gardner Mishu and the Colts to <clears throat> in this game here. It's to, um, I'm picking the Jaguars here. I think the Jaguars are a bit of a much better team than the Colts are. I think Jacksonville will win this game. Take the Jacks by four. <clears throat> Take the Jacks minus four in this one here. I think they will have first crack at first place in the division. So I'm going to pick the Jaguars over the Colts. Okay, key game number three, it is the Seahawks versus the Bengals. The Bengals are a three-point favorite, and that number is definitely going to go a bit, is going to go much lower. Two and a half, maybe two, and it wouldn't surprise me if it goes to one and a half. The numbers might fluctuate a little bit towards kickoff, so it's tough to say if that three is going to stay three. Some odds makers are already having it two and a, uh, two and a half, so. Now, <clears throat> the Seahawks were also on their bye last week. Geno Smith was 13 of 20, 110 yards, one touchdown, and a big victory against the Giants in week number four. Um, Joe Burrow in a big victory last week against the Bengals was 33, was 36 of 46, 317 yards, three touchdowns, but he did have one interception in that game. It's put up or shut up time now for the Cincinnati Bengals. It's a key game, really bigger for the Bengals as it is for the Seahawks. I know the C it's still a big game for them too, trying to keep pace with the 49ers. 
it, I think it boils down. Can't is basically is Geno Smith a lot more healthier? They had the bye week to kind of re, kind of get much healthier. He did get banged up in the in the win against the Giants last week. <clears throat> but a lot of it's going to determine can that defense stop Jamar Chase and the Bengals? They finally came alive last week. <coughs> Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase. <clears throat> So it's really tough to say for Seattle's defense. Can they really get to? Can they create havoc to Joe Burrow? Obviously, you know Joe Burrow's still not one hundred percent. So a lot of it's going to boil down to who makes the better plays. Same thing here. Defenses, I would say the Seahawks' defense is a tad better, but <clears throat> can the Bengals' offensive line actually stop Joe Burrow? I mean, it can get can stop Joe Burrow from getting sacked. It's a tough, <clears throat> tough pick here. Who wins this game? I mean, it's about the both teams are basically on par with each other. But I think that the way the Bengals have played, the Bengals are really up an up and down team. You don't know where we're gonna get on them. I think this is a game that they 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 will get back to five hundred. They know they need this game badly to try to keep pace in the AFC North. <clears throat> given the fact that the AFC North still is up for grabs. I'm going to pick the Bengals here. This is this is really a 50-50 pick here. It's really hot, hot, tough to say who wins this one here. So I'm going to pick the Bengals at minus three here. I think to me that they they finally get get their act together. Though I think the Seahawks, could this could be a trap game for them. I'm going to pick the Bengals in this one here. It's really not a sure pick here. The Bengals minus three. <clears throat> and finally, key game number four. It is the Detroit Lions versus the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Lions are a three-point favorite in this one here, but it don't surprise me if it gets to two and a half. This is probably the Lions' tough, one of the toughest games they've had this whole season other than Kansas City. Goff was 20 of 28, 236 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions, and a big blowout win they had to really blew out the Panthers to try to make a statement. Now, the Buccaneers were also on their bye week last week. Mayfield in week number four in a big victory over the Saints was 25 of 32, 246 yards, three touchdowns, and one interception. <clears throat> I would say that Baker Mayfield better be ready for this Lions defense. They, the, the Bucks offensive line has done a fantastic job of protecting him, but I really think that that Lions defense is for real. They, they they got banged up a little bit against the Panthers, but they really they basically other players have made some good key plays in that again in that big win against the Panthers. Aiden Hutchinson making a one-handed interception. They did a great job <clears throat> of getting to the quarterback. This is going to be a t really a more tougher test for Baker Mayfield to break through that Lions defense. Tough to say who comes out of this one here because. I still think this will be a close game. Baker Mayfield has really come alive this season, really rejuvenating his career in Tampa Bay. <clears throat> the Lions defense better be a lot more prepared for Baker Mayfield making more plays here. This is going to be a tough, I, this is a really tough game for the Lions if they really want to continue making their own statement that they're for real. <clears throat> tough pick here. It's another 50-50 pick. I'm still going to go with the Lions in this one here. I think the Lions defense will get to Baker Mayfield. I think Baker Mayfield is going to have a hard time in this game trying to break through that Lions defense here. I think the Lions, it's going to be a much closer game. It will be definitely close. <clears throat> this will not be a blowout like it was with the Panthers, with a game that they had to blow out to make some any sort of statement. But this will be a much closer game. It's going to go back and forth in this one here. I could definitely see this game going back and forth here. But I think the Lions are a little bit more of a better team than the Bucks are in this one here. The defense is a little better. And I'm going to pick the Lions here at minus three. The Lions over the Buccaneers. <clears throat> All right, everybody. I'm going to wrap this video up now because I got to cut. I'm going to stop here now. My, <clears throat> Like I said, I'm not feeling well. I'm trying to make this video so I can get this up posted. Check all of my week six picks in the description below. I'll talk to you guys next week when I make my picks for week number seven. Take care.